Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be making a raised bed. So with me here I've just got a basic wool blanket, 100% wool um, and it's quite thick material. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to lay it out and I'm going to sew it together, sew both sides together and um, I'm going to be using this for a so I can lay on it on my raised bed. So that's the plan. I'm making two tripods on either side. I'm going to be laying two poles across, I'm not going to be lashed, they're just going to be um, holding by like friction. I started um, sewing along this side. I fold the blanket in half and I've just sewn along the seam. So I'll show you a close up of that stitch. This blanket is really strong material. Uh, it's got to be strong enough to hold me as I'm going to be laying on it. Um, so yeah. I'm going to carry on uh, down the rest of it. So I'm using quite um, thin paracord here, so it's strong enough to hold the material together, does the job. So the running stitch is pretty simple. Um, it's just threading the the paracord in and out. So that's the, uh, the stitching all done, finished it all now and now I'm going to turn the blanket inside out so you can't see the stitching and it won't get caught in anything. So. So it's turned inside out now. Now you can just see the seam, not all the uh, the paracord.
So these um, spruce boughs are also great for uh, laying under you as a bit of insulation if you're ever ground dwelling. They uh, protect you from the floor. There's a lot of moisture on the floor, so it'll keep you from getting damp. It's also really comfortable, so if the ground's really bumpy, it'll be more comfortable for you to lay on. And also, um, the convection, it will decrease that, so you won't have as much cold air coming up beneath you. So I've collected my six poles now and I'm going to uh, use a tripod lash to um, lash three of the poles together so have a tripod each side of the bed. So I've got some paracord, um, quite strong stuff so I'll be using that to, to lash the, uh, the poles together. So I've got my three poles, I've made sure the thin side is at the top and the thick side down the bottom. Put them in line and um, I'm going to start off using the timber hitch on my first log. So I've got fairly stable um, logs. Now I'm going to finish on a clove hitch. So I'm pleased with this uh, tripod. It's really bulky so quite difficult to do. There's lots of knots on the, on the branches. Got a little uh, friend on my tripod. Yeah, I'm going to start the other one.
Now I'm just looking for two poles I can uh, use. So I'm looking for about six foot long. So I've got my poles now and I'm going to thread them through the, the blanket. I'm going to put the, uh, the seam on the bottom so it does less chance of it tearing. So there's the bed, so I'm going to move it uh, I think tomorrow or later today into the camp or somewhere with flatter ground because here's a bit on the slope so it'll be more level. This is obviously a great um, raised bed to make if you ever feel like you want to get off the floor. I prefer this to any of the other raised beds. I think it's really comfortable and it's quite easy to do. Um, and once you've built the two tripods and got the two sticks, then all you have to do is uh, just thread the two sticks in with your wool blanket and there you go. It's uh, pretty simple and all you need to carry is your wool blanket so it's great what i also love about this bed is that i could place my roll mat in between the wool blanket to create more insulation for me underneath Or if I didn't have my roll mat, then I'd probably place um, maybe spruce boughs and in between or loads of layers of leaves. Just something to insulate me if it is really cold.
So here's a type of uh, tarp set up I'd have over the top. Depending on, on what trees you're working with, you can have high setups above the bed or really low when it's really cold, windy or rainy conditions. So I've got the tarp up now and there's my ridge pole above me. Um, so obviously as the ridge pole is quite low to where I'm laying, it keeps a lot of heat in and keeps me warm. So yeah, I really rate this setup. I think it's great. And I'm, I'm glad I uh, attempted it. Yeah, so it, it was fun building. So I definitely rate this bed for comfiness, it's great. You could always carry this wool blanket with you that has been stitched. For a sleep system, you can lay this on the ground and you can put your roll mat and your sleeping bag on top of it, like this. So this keeps you insulated from the underneath. So that's one way of sleeping in the summer. This would be a good way of sleeping as the morning dew when the moisture lands on top of the wool blanket it would still keep its heat so it would still keep heat retention even though it becomes quite damp have a cover underneath you and on top so it kind of mummies you inside the back inside of that wool blanket So there's some of the many uses you can do with the wool blanket sleep system. It could also be used as a, a jacket, so when it gets cold you can have it um, as a piece of clothing also. So it's just different uses that you can use for the wool blanket if you weren't going to set up this bed for whatever reason. You, if you go to a different destination, you can still use this wool blanket for other uses. So kind of like put it over you as a kind of shelter if you t tie a ridge line and place it over you like that. A bit of protection from the wind and um, convection. You can place it underneath you, or you can put your sleeping bag and your roll mat inside of it. So that's going to be a really warm setup. In the summer, you could just take this, um, and you could literally lay on the floor and sleep in it, as in like a mummy bag, pretty much. So they were some quick ones that you can do with a wool blanket. You could also lay in your wool blanket and have a long fire. Um, as when an ember lands on wool it doesn't burn as much as if it landed on synthetic or a duck down material so thank you for watching guys thanks again always appreciate for you clicking onto my channel and joining me seeing what I'm up to so thanks a lot and I'll uh, see you on my next video